get a sheet of cotton that's kind of chunky. It wouldn't be um, used for actual paper, um, but it's perfect for making our own paper with. So we put it in what's basically a big blender, and we spin it around, and it feeds stuff into really, really fine chunks. Oh yeah, look at that, it's all goopy and cool. That's awesome. Yeah, so it's kind of like- that goop becomes paper? That goop becomes paper. Whoa. So it's kind of like if you take toilet paper and you swish it around in water and you see it break up like that. Oh, you keep exactly taking lots of toilet happening. paper and swish it around in That's water. exactly what's it's happening. It's pretty nice. So what we do then is we stick this screen into this vat of water and I'll hold one so you can see what it looks like. So we kind of, we mix up the fibers, we swish it around a little bit. Now we dip it in there. Oh, we, look at that. we wiggle it, and the reason why we wiggle it is we want the fibers to actually combine with each other. So we want the fibers to do that because we don't want our paper to fall apart. We want it to be nice and strong, so we want our fibers to mingle with each other. So that's why I wiggled it. So now it's draining. Okay, cool. And this is what it looks like once it's drained. And so I take that apart, and now that turns into that. Wait, well, you're gonna flip that off? I'm gonna flip it off. Gonna come off like a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. I, I, I believe it when I see it. All right. You press it. The water. See the water squishing? Whoa, you and did that's it! That's a piece of paper. That is so cool. Well, what can we do with paper? You can write on it. Cool. You can build things with it. Cool. You can make three dimensional things. You can make origami with it. And what's this pink stuff you've been doing? I'm printing with pulp. So basically, it's just like any kind of printing method. Like if you were using a stamper or squishing ink through a silk screen. This did you use that emulsion screen. stuff on that? I like did use the emulsion did? stuff. Wow. And then instead of having it on stretcher bars, like the silk screen printer would use, I cut it off and now I'm going to stick it right down cool. on my sheet of wet paper. And but so that's I'm, so wet, you can't take a, a heavy squeegee and squeeze it. That you can't. Really mess up. You have and to squeeze it. you can't write through a giant... Uh, Rollers like the other one, can you? You can't. You so have what are you going to do? It. Oh man, this is the wettest, is messiest, way. coolest kind of art I've seen it yet. It is. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to protect my other sheets of paper by covering them up so I don't spray You're going to protect paper them. with wet plastic. Yep. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's a little weird, but it's really fun if you it like to get fun. messy. Okay, cool. So no, we're going to out of the way and then we're going to have to so, what's in these sprayers is really, 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 really fine paper pulp, just like that kind. That is actually liquid paper. It is paper. And not the same kind that we use for correcting mistakes. No. This is genuine liquid paper. It is. It's and that liquid paper is not actually made out of liquid paper. I'm adjusting the spray a little bit, and you can see I'm spraying it Ooh. through. And I maybe want it to be a little bit more forceful so that it actually sprays through. I hear you, Tiffany. That would be great. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is doing it. It's doing it. That is it. so cool. And it, it looks different every single time. So it's yeah, not yeah. always as exact. You can see I've got all these yeah, other they're ones. they're all different. Alligators. Sometimes it comes out like an octopus. Sometimes it comes out like a bird. Exactly. Whatever this is going to look like. It's a Ferris wheel! Oh, that is so cool! And if you want, you can put another color on top of it, too. So I'll put this down on top, and then I'll put a little bit of black over top of it. Holy cow! So it'll be like two different colors. That is amazing. It's pretty fun. And you're not waiting for anything to dry. Nope. This oh. is the wetter the better. The wetter the better. And we'll dry it later. So once we have all of our images on, what we do is we stick it, there's a big press over there. And it squishes all the water out of the paper. Cool. So then we can take these and we can put them in a dryer and overnight we can blow air on them and then it dries out the paper so that if you want you can take a look over there and I have finished sheets of what those prints look like. Okay, so, now so right now I'm adding a second color. I can't wait to see this. It's going to be exciting. Oh, it's black. It's black. So I can already tell. Black. Is your hand going to stay papered up like that? Just watch the turnout. Man, this stuff is so yeah. cool. How did you make the colors? I used this stuff called pigment. It's made specially for paper pulp. And you pigment it while it's wet. So you just put... Is that made out of paint. real pigs? It's not made out of real pigs. It's made out of, um, I believe, vegetable-based materials. So it's not cruel to animals. Awesome. Look at that. And this paper is made out of plants. It is. It's made out of cotton, like the puffy cotton balls. 